y'all. It's Rita May June. And this is the end of the day of my twist out that was done on wet hair with flaxseed gel. Hardly any frizz. And I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do to maintain this is to take my silicone scrunchies that I got from the Dollar Tree and put my hair into two low ponytails. And I also do the same thing when I wear um, a wash and go. So hopefully it can work out for my twist out as well. And if you want to see the twist out video, um, check it out. It should be the one right before this one. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle and just take my hair and just pull it back into a ponytail. And wrap the ponytail thing around one time. Just like I do my wash and goes. And the reason why I'm not twisting my hair at night is because the whole purpose to me of twist outs and braid outs and all of that is for it to be low manipulation. And low manipulation means, you know, you don't have to be combing and twisting and turking and all of that. You know, you just <laughs> basically can just go to sleep. So the hair that doesn't fit, I'm going to take a bobby pin and I have the long bobby pins. And I'm going to take a bobby pin and just bobby pin that down. And I need one more just to hold it the other way. And bam. Now I should get some good scratch with um this way too. Without having to twist and pull it on the end a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to do the other side the same way. Easy breezy. Alright. Now when my hair was shorter, I had to do a lot more to my hair. The more it's growing, the less I'm finding I have to do with it um, style-wise. So, that's great. And that's it. I'm just going to put my scarf on. I don't have it right here with me because I need to clean up my face and everything first. But yeah, I put my scarf on and everything. Yeah. I'm going to come back and show you guys my hair in the morning. Hey y'all, so it's day two, and I already moved, removed my scarf. I did put a scarf on. So all I'm going to do is remove my bobby pins. And remove my hair ties. kind of shake it up a little bit. Now I will sacrifice this style for to add some moisture to my hair. So I'm going to add a little bit of my Bonner Brothers Oil Moisturizer on my ends. Because it is winter time and you know I'd rather have my ends looking right than anything. So that's a little bit about that much. Rub it in and just pat it on my hair. I'm going to take a little bit of oil, put the extra virgin olive oil and soybean oil mix. And it's a little thinner than just olive oil by itself. And it really absorbs well into my hair. Like the extra virgin olive oil on its own didn't absorb too well. Kind of set on my hair and I always felt oil on my hair all day. Kind of fluffing in. Put my hands in like, um, take my hands in the bottom of my hair. I'm going to stick them in like this and kind of pull it down. Stick it in, open, close it, and pull it down just to get the back to come down. Just like this. Just kind of pull. Pull. And the side, same thing. Pull it down.
Now when I tried to maintain my dry twist out like this, it didn't work. The definition was gone super duper quick. But today, I think I have a winner. I'm going to take my pick. Play with it a little bit. I like it, y'all. I think day two has looking mighty fun. It's kind of hanging down a little bit more like I wanted it to. Nice and fluffy in the back. And I just see them smiling. Because my hair is feeling dry. <laughs> it's looking flat too, but it feels good. Yeah. Look at my definition I still got. Yeah. The moisturizer didn't mess it up at all. So don't get scared to put a little moisturizer on your twist out. Because the main thing is you want to make sure your hair is well moisturized every day. If your hair is sucking in moisture, moisturize it every day. Um, I wouldn't recommend with my texture hair to spray water on my twist out. I tried it before and it just was free of city. But this moisturizer I'm using has water in it so it will moisturize my hair. So, this is it. And I'll come on in the next couple of days and see... How many days I can get out of this here, so I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow. Alright y'all, so I'm here with day three. And as you see, I still have a lot of definition left in my hair. I feel like I have a winner now. Me just putting my hair in the ponytails and then fluffing it out in the morning. So much better than retwisting your hair every night. So yeah, day three still going strong. So I'm not sure how many days I'm going to get, but I'm pretty sure I should be able to get five or six days. If not, I'll do some kind of updo or something like that. So yeah, this is it. Maintaining the twist out with no twisting.